Veterans Reunion, please welcome our 1966 national champion, Fighting Irish Football Team! But this football team here, winning a national championship in 1966, they went 9-0-1. You know what? And they shot out, they shot out six opponents, including a 51 to nothing rout of then number 10 USC. touchdowns for all the rest of their opponents. You know what? Even more, I got more for you. They, they were fourth in the nation in total defense, third in total offense, second in scoring defense, and they led the nation in scoring, in offensive scoring. Let's give it up for the fight iron! To celebrate their 45th reunion, we have over 80 members here, including head coach, Era Parsegian. century against Michigan State. You know what? We got Michigan State coming in tomorrow. And I know you remember, I know last year we remember the pain of that little Giants play. Well, I gotta tell you something. Tomorrow, out on the field, those little Giants of Michigan State, well, guess what?
There's nothing like being back home. Last week, we had to listen to 115,000 people that really don't know about college football. I want, I want to thank, I want to thank not only our fans, but all of our students. If you remember two weeks ago, when we had that weather delay for over two hours, and we had to evacuate 81,000 people from our stadium yeah. over two hours and 15 minutes. We didn't know what to expect when we came back in, but you know what we got? We got 81,000 people back into that stadium. And then, and then when most fans would have cashed it in, our students came back and showed incredible support. So we want to thank you for that. As you know, as you know, there's a high bar here at the University of Notre Dame as it relates to their football team, and we're not we're not happy where we are. But I do want I do want to make certain that everybody knows that we have won more national championships than any other program. And today we recognize the 1966 championship team, and the architect of that championship team is here to say a few words. The legendary. that is. Uh, been a long time since I've been recognized that way and uh, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it because um, in 1964 I came to Notre Dame, coached until 1974, but I continued to stay in South Bend here in this community and, and was very visible. In any event, as a result of the internet, the uh, I've been getting a lot of these autograph requests pictures and so forth and uh, I was running out of them and I went down to Kinko's to get some duplications. <laughs> anyway, I'm down, I'm, the, the guy that's taking care of me takes the, two, the pictures that I wanted, two headshots, and he takes me back to where the machine is and he says, uh, you look at it and see whether or not you like the color all right. And I said, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. And then he started to play around and he looked up at me and I thought he was going to recognize me. And he, and he didn't. Now, now, now. Now, now you appreciate why I appreciated your applause. of pictures he brings me around to the <laughs> brings me around to the counter if I can have your attention for one moment that's the 1966 coach talking no let me finish this I come around with the pictures and he boxing them up and I'm standing right in front of him and he's, I'm looking at him and he looks up at me and I thought well oh and he looks down at the pictures again, looks up at me again, and then he starts to tap the pictures, and he says to me, he says, is he still around? <laughs> and that I am. Anyway, last Saturday was not a, a night that, uh, that deprived me of some sleep, I'm sure, as well as others. Forget about it. We've got a great football team here. And, and st st statistics bear that all out. When I got up in the morning and I didn't like 
the, the necessity to sit down and read the Sunday newspaper. I've been through that as a coach, been through it as a fan and a spectator. And as I read the results of the thing, I've never seen a Notre Dame team manhandle a Michigan team for three and a half, four quarters the way we did in that game. the schedule for the following week where we had Michigan State Spartans on there. I said, there is a golden opportunity for us. Here comes Michigan with an undefeated season. They're ranked 15th in the nation and the only way you're going to climb up is to play teams like that and beat teams like that right here. Tomorrow we're going to be good host. We're going to unlock the gates and let the Spartans come in. <laughs> then we're going to lock those gates. And we're not going to let them out of there until we've kicked their butts really right there. Michigan State tomorrow. Yeah.